The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Being a Grady White, the Express 330 comes from a long line of fishing boats, so let's take a look at the fishing features that we have here. It starts with 80 square feet of open cockpit space, plenty of room for fighting a fish. In the transom, 254 quart fish locker. This one is chilled, the chill plates are surrounding the exterior so they don't impinge on the capacity. A second chill box is under the port seat next to the helm. The controls for those two cockpit coolers are right inside the companionway. The fresh and raw water washdowns are just underneath the port bulwarks. We have holders for downrigger weights, rod storage, plus tow rails. Now let's take a look at some of the features of the forward end of the cockpit, starting with the 45 gallon live well. It's blue interior, rounded edges, aerated, reduce the shock effect on the fish, and underneath we've got lure and tour holders. Riding out the fishing features, we've got two flush mounted rod holders to both cap rails, port and starboard, three rocket launchers for the hardtop supports, outriggers up above, and spreader lights just underneath the hardtop. Let's see how the family will be treated starting at the helm deck. The port side seating, extremely comfortable and I've got great visibility well beyond the bow. Grab handle and drink hold is forward, plus we've got a footrest that flips down underneath. To the starboard side, opposing seating, not quite as luxurious as the port side seating, but comfortable nonetheless. And as you can see, it's easy to expand the social aspect of the helm deck. We've got a four-step reboarding ladder, gate that opens outward, just inside, shower with a hot and cold control just ahead. At the aft end of the cockpit, we've got a standard bench seat, and there's an option for adding two more to either side. Bolsters start at 19 inches and come up to 28 inches. Over to the port hand side, optional grill and cockpit refrigerator. Well, as we come down below, plenty of room for two couples to enjoy an overnight experience. Let's take a look at some of the individual features. Standing at the galley, there's six feet two inches of headroom. Look at some of these features. Plenty of storage, and notice that all of the doors are not allowed to slam. There's a double burner electric stove, plenty of storage behind, a single basin sink with a pull-out sprayer. Down below, additional storage plus a refrigerator freezer. For cooking, we have a microwave oven. Entertainment comes from a Fusion Stereo DVD player and a 19-inch flat screen TV on a swivel mount. The seating area isn't really good to accommodate four people, but three, two certainly. Wraps around a solid wood table, nicely finished, and there's cargo net storage. Here's another creative storage space. The forward berth measures six feet three inches by six feet at its widest. Headroom over the berth is two feet seven inches. Dual hatches up above provide natural light plus ventilation. Both of them have blackout shades and bug screens. To the starboard side, we have a wet head. There's six feet clearance overhead, full length mirror on the back of the door. There's a pull out sprayer in the sink and that mounts to a sliding bracket. Corian counter has a raised edge. The mid cabin is a little tight to get into, but it is functional. Let's take a look. Once inside, it's actually quite comfortable. Six feet, six inches long, four feet, three inches wide, 30 inches of headroom, there's more rope lighting, plus a privacy curtain, and this one also has the reading light. In my opinion, the Express 330 makes a great boat for both the offshore fishermen and the family looking to do some weekend cruising and certainly some entertaining. And that's our look at the Express 330 from Grady White. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.